What is going on guys? Welcome to the fourth geographical plotting within Python tutorial with a base man. Where we left off we were making, well we, I showed you guys that cool blue marble and stuff, but we're not actually going to be using that so I'm going to delete that. Um, the other things that we're going to change, we'll keep this, we'll keep this, we'll keep this, and actually let's get rid of draw rivers, we don't need to be drawing rivers. Uh, and then we'll do that. So again, kind of like what I was saying before, this is kind of, if if you're coming from Matplotlib, this is kind of like how we set up our subplot, like the parameters that we want it to take as we do this. So, uh, like I was saying, I think probably it would be in our best interest to focus on like one area so we can start plotting and seeing it really well. So I'm going to go ahead and have us focus in on the United States. So uh, the first thing that we want to do is is change up our coordinates a little bit. So really the lower left coordinate, we really want that to be more like 20. Upper right corner lat, we'll do 50. Lower left corner longitude, uh, negative 130. And upper right corner will be a negative 60. Save that, run it. Let's make sure we did that right. Yeah, it looks good. So now this is what we've got. We could kind of trim this away a little bit, but that's okay. We'll leave it like this for now. Um, but, you know, as we plot in various spaces, we'll be able to see it better. So let's actually make a plot. So like I was saying before, um, first of all, the things are flipped, just to keep in mind. So, again, coordinates are typically given latitude, then longitude. And really, in our scenario, that's like giving us coordinates for y, comma x, right? And so that's kind of the opposite of what we want. So you want to keep in mind that, and you also want to keep in mind that north, south, east, west. So if you're getting coordinates that have... Uh, north, south, east, west instead of negative and positive values you want to convert them. I will say that a lot of places are actually giving the coordinates in you know positive and negative so that's actually kind of nice because uh, it wasn't always like that and there's still a lot of places and sources that are going to have them with north, south, east, west but just keep that in mind and just do like a, a switch uh, if, if you have a source from giving those kinds of uh, coordinates. But then don't forget at the end of the day that once you have those coordinates, you have to flip, uh, flip the X and Y basically. So keep that in mind. So let's say uh, you have Houston, Texas. Um, so what we're going to want to plot is a, a dot on Houston, Texas. And the latitude and longitude of Houston, Texas is basically 29.76 and negative 95.36. I'll just keep it short for now. So the next thing you need to do, though, you can't just, like, plot that. You have to kind of convert it. So what, what we're going to do is not only are we going to convert it to the base map, we're going to also, like, what a format that base map's going to It's kind of like when you want to do sh stuff with NumPy. You have to first convert it, like, an array to a NumPy array. So you need to put it in a uh, format that this base map will understand. So, because if you if you saw how we were hovering over base map, it didn't give us latitude and longitude like in the corner there. So you can't just do this quite yet, but we'll get there. So now what we're going to do is we're going to say x comma y. So x and y equals m, and that is referencing you know your base map projection, all this stuff. And then we want to do um, long lat right. X is your longitude, y is your latitude. So x y just and I keep beating that in your head. Now, all you have to do is m.plot x, y, and then here we're going to make a red dot, and it's just going to be a little dot. And we better just change this. We'll call this uh, geoplotting. So that's what we're doing now, right? We are geoplotting. So render that, and <laughs> you probably can't see it in YouTube, but there is a little minuscule dot over Houston. And if you're following us, then you should have that dot as well. The other thing we can do, we can say like red, um, I think we can do this, let's see if this works out for us. There we go, made it a little bit bigger. Instead of a dot, we use this like zero marker. Um, so anyway, you can do that. Now what if we like, you know, maybe want to make another plot or something. Eventually, you can just make a big array out of this, like you would just instead probably do lat equals an array, lawn equals an array of equal, you know, lengths basically, and do that. But just just for kicks, we'll do um, lat lawn equals, and for boulder, 
Colorado, 40.12. And then the longitude is negative 104.24. Then we're going to say xy equals m long lat. And then m dot plot xy. And again, we'll just use, we'll, we'll plot this one green. Save that, run it. And now you can see that we've got this red dot and a green dot there over Boulder, over Houston. Pretty cool. Now, that's cool, but there are obviously a few small changes that we might want to make. First of all, maybe we're only plotting and dealing with major cities. Well, in that case, these dots are way too small, right? Like, no matter how much you zoom, that's how big the dot is. So maybe you want to have that dot a little bigger. And then, but what if, what if you're plotting every city in the world and uh, you've got dots like this and they run over each other, that kind of stuff. So I'm going to show you guys in the next tutorial how we can deal with that with some alpha and also how we can change the size. And that'll probably cover it in the next video. And that should be enough for you guys to get started, at least with geographical plotting. Uh, I'm not too sure what else you might want to do. You, you know, some people want to plot like wind bands and all this kind of stuff. So there's obviously a lot of reasons you might do geographical plotting, but this will at least get you started. So anyway, stay tuned in the next video. As always, thanks for watching.